Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Out of Nowhere and today we are going to make a leg rig Let's dive in and first of all we are going to need some helper bones To do that I am going to switch to edit mode and I am going to select this shin bone and hit E on my keyboard to extrude that bones I'm also going to hit the Y to constrain the movement on the Y axis and I am going to hit 1 on my numeric pad to extrude them by 1 unit hit enter I am going to do the same for the toe bone so extrude on the Z axis by 1 unit now we want to clear the parent for these helper bones so select the bone and hit ALT P to clear the parent ALT P clear parent ALT P clear parent ALT P clear parent now I am going to move this bone forward on the Y axis because this is going to be the pole control and now we can name all these bones accordingly I am going to enable my names here on the object data and viewport display left leg pole, right leg pole, left leg control, right leg control, left toe control, right toe control, left toe tip, right toe tip and now that all the naming is correct we can also add two helper bones to our heels and I'm going to extrude that also on the Y axis and clear the parent for that bone and rename that to left heel control right heel control now we can switch back using tab to our pose mode we can start adding our constraints I will add a inverse kinematic constraint to the shin L the target will be the left leg control and the pole target will be the left leg pole we need also to set the chain length to 2 and disable the stretch and fix the pole angle minus 60 we are going to fix this leg rotation so let's go into our bone context menu and disable the inherit rotation for this bone also for the heel and for the toe this way these bones are not going to be affected by the shin rotation we're going to fix some parenting for these bones so let's switch to edit mode and I want the left leg pole to be parented to my left leg control select the left leg pole and then select the leg control and hit ctrl P and keep offset same thing for the leg control and the AL base, fi base fit and I want also to select my toe tip toe control and heel control and shift click also my L base fit and ctrl P to keep offset now these three small helper bones are going to be controlled my, by my L base fit and also my leg control and my left leg pole so if we switch back to pose mode we can now move our L base fit and everything is going to be moving accordingly we also need to set these IK cinematic constraints so let's do that let's add one IK constraint here the target will be left toe tip chain length set to 1 and disable stretch for my foot bone also add a inverse kinematic constraint the target will be left toe control chain length set to 1 and disable stretch and same thing for the heel the target will be the left heel control chain length to 1 and disable stretch now if we rotate the L base feet all the feet is going to rotate accordingly so this is working pretty fine consider that this is a very very simple leg 
and fit rig I'm going to make a specific tutorial uh, later in the future because uh, we can make a very much complex fit rig for to make complex movements but I want to keep it simple for now this leg rig is complete we can also move the toe tip up and down to make this deformation and we still have control of all the leg by moving this base fit if you don't want the leg pole to be following the base fit rotation you can always select the leg control and going to the bone context menu and disable the inherit rotation so when we rotate the L base fit the leg pole is not going to be rotated at all I leave you to the rigging of the right part everything is just set up because we are working with a X mirror for the skeleton and you just need to add your inverse kinematic constraints and set up the controls so for this tutorial will be all thank you guys for following me if you liked it hit that button and if you don't let me know in the comments why i will try to help you if you find yourself stuck uh, at some points just let me know and i'm going to try to help you as always thank you again guys and we see each other in the next tutorial bye bye